a little bit of lubrication goes a long way from with this aluminum from keeping the uh the blades from galling up and getting full of aluminum hey guys welcome back to the shop on this episode we're going to be working on project prelude's engine we're going to be hacking up the intake manifold doing what they call a stage three port job on it we're going to open up the upper plenum get rid of the butterfly valves and knife edge each individual runner we're also going to add two more butterfly valves all opened up and blended together for a little more plenum volume high rise intake on a honda that's what i'm talking about hopefully with the intake modifications we'll pick up some extra ponies with those stage two cams so that's the goal anyway horsepower like subscribe tell a friend leave a comment down below let's get to it Okay, so here's the intake that's on the H23A1 non VTEC. Pull the upper plenum off. Basically, what we'll be doing to the uh, H23 VTEC, we'll be cutting all of this area out on the upper two. So it's a wide open space, like this one here. And then for the lower one, we're going to cut it all out and blend it all in, except for we're going to leave a little bit of a lip right here. We'll leave this lower ledge here. Because if you take all that out and open all that up, and you'll be left with two little holes right here in the bottom because the intake doesn't cover that. So people have said, oh, I'll JB weld that. I'll put some sort of stuff on there. I don't like that idea. I think that seems like a half-assed way. So we will blend this upper half in and then we'll radius that in so that it flows really well. Once we get the butterfly valves in and done, we're gonna come in here and cut each one of these areas right here all the way out. So that'll be a kind of an oval shape. We might bring it down just a little bit lower and we'll file that or machine that to a point like a razor edge it'll be a knife edge one thing you do want to be careful of is if you come in here and cut straight across here there's no material on the back side here so if you cut straight across that point you'll end, you're going to end up with a hole right there that's the only one because these two here have the uh the bung for the intake bolt so it's got plenty of meat there but this one doesn't have that so if you cut that straight across you're going to end up with a hole you got to fill somehow i've heard people say they're going to weld it up which would be the right way to do and then other people have said jb weld which i just don't like that idea so another thing we're probably going to do to the uh h23 vtec motor or the intake is we're going to tap it and we're going to put the fogger system in there so we can spray a little nitrous on it okay on the upper plenum here the idea is we're going to hack all this stuff out and open up the entire plenum so there's nothing there to inhibit airflow. The idle air control valve circuit, there's a hole here, comes through here, and there's another hole here. So it does draw air through here. When we cut this out, we're gonna end up getting into that air channel. I don't know for sure if that's gonna affect the idle air control valve and make it have too much air draw. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to run an idle or a control valve. So I've got to figure that out real quick. And then we'll probably also open up the throttle body hole to whatever size throttle body I'm going to run. I have not decided yet, but we will open that up too. Okay, so I got a little bit of die grinding done today. I got the second one, which will be my lower one, all roughed in and left that little triangle in there. Lines up really close with this one. Once we get it all welded around, all three of them, I'll come in here and tidy everything up. It's gonna sit on the intake like so. And just keep that little triangle there to keep us from having a vacuum leak. And then we'll blend all that stuff in. And then I did 
start cutting up on the upper plenum a little bit. I just used the cutoff wheel on that, but it was getting too difficult to to get into these areas here with it. So I'll get the uh, sawzall, jigsaw, airsaw, whatever, and uh, get that cleaned out the rest of the way. Okay, well I've been at it for about two hours. I've got the uh, lower plenum hacked out. Got the third and final spacer butterfly valve hacked out and the upper plenum hacked out. Uh, by far, I think gonna be the hardest part. Uh, now we just attack it with the die grinder. One tip I would like to give you is use a little bit of lube, some WD-40 or something. Uh, it really helps keep the uh, carbide bits from galling up and even like the Sawzall or the air saw blade and even the uh, cutoff wheel just helped them from galling up and filling up with aluminum and then not cutting anymore. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get started on die grinding. Welcome back to the world's most boring project ever. I'm going to uh, polish up these intake ports a little bit uh, and get them a little bit closer to being done. So let's get to it. Okay, I got everything sanded and smoothed out a little bit with these uh, Harbor Freight sanding discs. Burned through about a 52 piece set of them. Uh, didn't do a whole lot to the upper intake besides hack out the, uh, the eight ports and then just kind of try to smooth everything out. I spent most of my time behind the throttle body just trying to open up that area and unchoke that. I did not open up this hole a whole lot because I'm not sure what size throttle body I'm gonna run yet. Uh, we'll get that figured out here in the next week or so for the plates. I got those all smoothed out and we'll get those welded and I'll come in here and do just do a final smooth so that all these 
line up real well and everything flows really well. The bottom plate here, I left that lip right there um, so that we didn't have a vacuum leak and didn't have to worry about that issue there. So that should seal up really well and then kind of help that air transition. The lower intake plenum here, we've got everything opened up and got these knife edged. So we should have good airflow across those. We probably, we gained a ton of plenum volume in this, this middle area of the intake. So hopefully this will help pick up a couple ponies now that the, the motor is going to be breathing a little harder in those stage two cams. So, and then again, just kind of cleaned up those, didn't do a whole lot of porting on that. I might come back on the second phase of this and uh, do a little gasket matching on this with the intake gasket. So it looks like it's pretty close already. So maybe I have to just take a little bit of material off just to get it to match that gasket. But that'll be a, a wrap for stage one. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this one. Uh, got everything roughed in and sanded out pretty well. Uh, I'm going to wait until I get my throttle body to figure out the final upper plenum size bore I should do. And then I'll also wait until I get the uh, three butterfly plates welded together so I can dial those in perfectly and make them nice and smooth all together. But it was a long, 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 long process. I've got an additional three hours in a day. Add that to the, uh, oh, seven and a half, eight hours. This stuff does take a ton of time. It's not easy. It's boring. Um, I suggest putting on some headphones and, uh, listening to your favorite songs or podcasts or whatever you're into and just kind of zone out and go to town. Um, hopefully I highlighted some of the bad areas that you got to look out for. Um, spots where you're going to burn through the intake and have an issue with that. And gave you a couple ideas on how to alleviate a few of those spots. We'll come back to this project. Oh, it'll probably be a little bit um, after we get a chance to get the intake or the throttle body ordered and get the uh, spacers off to a, a buddy of mine to have them weld them up. So we're going to call that a wrap for this one and we'll see you on the next one.